Welcome to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with Rebecca Hall Greider. In our program each week, we provide the tools, ideas, and encouragement to help you move ahead on your journey, becoming a more powerful and impactful woman in your own life. Now here's your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. Welcome, everyone. I hope that you're having an amazing day. I'm excited to have you connecting in with us because today we're going to be talking about unmasking your potential, taking off any of those layers that have been hiding away some of our potential, cutting through everything so that you can really fully unmask your potential and shine. And this will be in health business and life. So we've got a very exciting show lined up and we have two experienced guests that have our experienced talk show hosts. So we're going to have a really exciting show (laughs) having three of us together in one place. So I hope that you'll feel that energy, be excited, leaning in to all that we have to share with you today. But to prepare us for the conversation, I wanted us to just pause for a moment. We can rush around and be so busy in life. If we can remember to just pause, take a breath, let the oxygen reach into every cell of your body. Let's talk a little bit about what we are exploring when we talk about unmasking your potential. Something I have discovered as I've gone along in the journey of life is that We can look out in the world and we see the amazing gifts in others. We can see their talents, their abilities, and sometimes can almost be frustrated that they can't see their brilliance. And I don't know if any of you have ever had that experience where one of your good friends is talking to you or a colleague and they have some self-doubt creeping in or they're questioning or they don't know if they can or, you know, maybe people won't understand. They won't like what I have to offer. I'm not enough. I'm not okay. And when I hear one of my friends or my colleagues share that, I sometimes want to shake them with love and turn them around into the mirror to be able to see what I see in them because sometimes they can't see it for themselves. And what I find is sometimes that person can be me. I cannot see my brilliance. I can perhaps struggle in tapping into my gifts and my talents and my abilities. And some of the things that can create that um, friction or that static where we can't see clearly or be seen clearly, some of those layers can be that we're not fully tapping into our gifts and our talents or we're not remembering to take care of ourselves like the precious gift and treasure that we are. Sometimes we're putting ourselves at the bottom of the list and everyone else, everything else at the top. So it's really, really important that we remember a key to tapping into our potential, to tapping into our health, to unmask our vibrancy is to remember to take care of ourselves, to find ways to increase our vitality and our health so we can think clearly, we can serve powerfully, and we can step more fully into our potential. So that's part of unmasking. So we're going to be talking a little bit about that today, tapping into our health and our energy. And then we're also going to talk about the importance of timing, When we're making decisions, there are actually energies out there that we can tap into that can be supportive of what we're doing, which means we can actually do things in a way that's easier (laughs) and not necessarily fighting the energy and the time and the season. That can also help us more fully step into our potential. So we're going to be talking about that. I'm also going to be reminding you to remember how gifted you are, that those differences, those quirks sometimes that we try to hide or we think are weird are actually gifts that help people see us, that uniquely connect us with others. For example, I used to be really self-conscious about my laugh. And when I decided I was going to be a speaker and a leader and a radio show host, and I was going to step into all these spaces using my voice, I became even more self-conscious of it. And I saw my laughter as weird. It It was loud. It was kind of funny sounding. People laughed at it as an issue. 
And so I hired a really expensive, for me, it was a really big investment, one of my big investments, and a speech coach, this amazing expert who'd worked with the stars. They had transformed people's careers. And I created a list because if I was going to have an investment like that, I was going to have a list. <laughs> so I went down, flew flew out to meet with this individual. And the first thing on my list of what needed to be fixed was my laugh. And I remember he looked at me and he took the paper away, my list away. He took it away because <laughs> he was the expert, not me. And he set it to the side. And he goes, Rebecca, I think we need to have a serious conversation here. So I thought, uh-oh, I don't think he can help me or something. something's wrong. He said, Rebecca, I think you're confused about what is an asset and what is a liability. He goes, when you have something that people remember about you, that they lean into, that they smile, their energy is lifted and it's contagious in a good way. He goes, that's an asset. That's not the thing you get rid of. If anything, you do it more. He goes, a liability is when it interferes with your message. That's the thing to lean in and work on. So I'm going to encourage you as we go through our time together today to perhaps reframe some of those things about us, some of the way that we are looking at ourselves, almost like we sometimes see that brilliance in our friend, that amazing gift, to be able to hold that mirror up and see that in ourselves and actually see that that unique thing about us is a gift. It's part of fueling our potential, can help us connect on a higher and higher level. And we're going to support you today in exploring ways to increase your health and your energy and your vitality and looking at how you can harness energies that are all around you to be able to do more in a way that is aligned with how you are made and gifted. So I'm excited. I hope that you are too. But let's just pause for a moment. Those of you who are driving, please stay safe. Keep both hands on the wheels, eyes open, no texting and driving, alert, <laughs> just inwardly tuning in. Those of you who are able to, though, I invite you to sit back in your chair. Take another deep breath in through your nose. Expand your belly, see how big you can make it. And then out through your mouth, like there is straw, beautiful. Put one hand on your heart. One hand on your head, eyes closed, you're absolutely safe. Keep breathing, don't forget to breathe. This will help lower your stress levels, your cortisol levels, and bring you very present. So in this space, as you're quiet, eyes closed, I want to ask you, what is it that you need today? What is it that you need that will help you unmask your potential? What is it that is pulling at your heart that you need to support, equip, and empower you? And I invite you to receive that information. It can come in a picture. It can come in a, um, a memory, a sound, a song. There's all the senses that communicate with us. But let me dial this up. What are you willing to receive so not just what you need, but are also willing to receive. And just see if that shifts the answer a little bit. Beautiful. Receive that information, then come back into the room. Deep breath, eyes open, alert, fully present. And then I invite you to actually write down what was laid on your heart, what it is that you need today and are willing to receive. I want you to keep it top of mind, not just a passing thought, top of mind. I want you to have it in front of you so you can be leaning in with anticipation to receive the very thing that you need. Because it is not an accident that you have tuned in today that you are leaning into this conversation. There is something here for you to support you on your journey. And I want you actively looking and leaning in to things throughout the day that can help equip, empower, and support you. So write it down. Keep it top of mind. I want you to be open, willing to receive what is here for you today and throughout the day. 
let's take a breath, breathe that in. Wonderful. And then I'm going to go around our virtual room here and just see what was laid on our expert's heart. So Kathleen, did you have something laid upon your heart that you would like to share? You know, when I was listening to your meditation today, which was very beautiful, I was thinking of this, the the polarity of destruction and construction, of how we can mm. take ourselves down in a nanosecond. And, you know, the, the, the goal here always is to construct and, and to expand. And so that to me was something that was really looking at, like, where in my life am I destroying in that, oh, I, you know, oh, I don't really look so good today or don't feel so good today. Well, is that true? You know, what, what is the beauty in the world? So, and so that, that's really where I try to catch myself and I try to help my clients as well is in their self-talk and their mindset. So, and then what I would like to obviously bring in is, is probably more of that is really just being very aware of all the beauty around because it's very easy to get wrapped up in news stories and, you know, the things that are wrong. Um, so just being a little bit more aware and appreciating every beautiful, precious thing that, that we are able to have in this world. I love that. And I'm really leaning in and wanting to support you because I think you're not alone in this share that um, you're right. I mean, our mindset and how we look at things can sometimes be our greatest um, asset and it can be our liability. So it's that internal stuff, too. So I love that claiming to choose how we're going to look and to manage, kind of um, put a a container around what we're allowing ourselves to receive from ourselves (laughs) as well as how we are um, choosing to look out at the world. So thank you. Beautiful share. Beautiful. And then um, Dr. Marianne Chase, what was laid on your heart? Really just about how we as women tend to always put everyone ahead of ourselves when it comes Mm -hmm. to health. I mean, it, it really is just innate for us to want to take care of everyone else. First, our children, first, next, our spouses, or if you don't have children, first, our spouses. And if you don't have a spouse, just whoever is in your life that you love to take care of. And it is so easy just to forget about yourself and taking care of yourself and to forget that if you are not well, how can you take care of anybody else? Yes, exactly. Beautiful, beautiful reminder. So as we are going through our conversation today, I'm going to thank you. Thank you for your powerful share. I'm going to encourage you all to allow yourself the rich gift of processing real time. You have shown up today. You have said yes to you. I invite you to fully embrace the experience today. Really allow yourself to emerge, immerse yourself in everything that you are hearing today and experiencing today because we do need to take care of ourselves. And part of that is listening, pausing, processing, and choosing with purpose what we do next And I want to encourage us to remember to keep ourselves, I call it in the center of the plate, to make sure we're not at the bottom of that list, but the top. So as we go to our first commercial break here, this is actually a commercial break. It's in disguise. These are two-minute moments. Every commercial break, I'm letting you guys know the inside secret here. Every commercial break are two minutes, and they're just for you. This is an opportunity for you to pause. Stay present, breathe, and process what's being poured into you on a cellular level. I encourage you to resist the urge to rush off and cross things off your to-do list and get distracted so that you're not able to fully be here. I want you mind, body, soul, and spirit to receive what is here for you today. So as we go into this first two-minute moment, I invite you to reflect on what we have shared, what's been spoken into your heart And write down any insights or ah ahas that you're having or something you want to claim. And then we'll claim and echo that out with you 
energetically as we move forward in all that we are looking to do and all that we want to support you in doing and being in your life. We'll look forward to talking to you in just a moment. The Voice America Women's Channel. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Are you ready for your rush of success? I'm Kim Chi Chong, the walk star. And I'm Cami Ferry, the theater queen, the host of Rush Hour for Success on Money 105.5 on Thursdays and Fridays at 2 p.m. It's about getting entertained and getting solutions for your success in life and business. Visit us on Facebook at Money 105.5 FM Rush Hour for Success or download the Money 105.5 app on your phone for the live stream. That's Thursdays and Fridays, 2 p.m. Pacific time. Get entertained, get educated, and get your rush on Rush, rush Hour, Hour for Success. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. With the great reveal, be ready to be inspired, awed, and motivated in your life by immersing yourself in psychology, neuroscience, mind-body interaction, and spiritual practices to elevate your journey to business and personal success. From ancient practices to scientifically-based cutting-edge techniques, guests will share strategies and methods to enlighten and empower you to design the life you desire and deserve. Visit thegreatreveal.com. Spread positive change. Your favorite Voice America Talk Radio Network shows and hosts are in your car, outdoors, and wherever you need them to be. Listen anywhere. Get our mobile app for iPhone, BlackBerry, or Android at the Apple iTunes App Store, BlackBerry App World, or Android Market. The Voice America Women's Channel. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-613-1612. That's 1-866-613-1612. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes, that pausing, that reflecting, that breathing. That's where I feel we can have those shifts and those changes in our life when we decide to pause, breathe, and with great purpose, choose that next breath and that next step. So I invite you throughout our time together to look for those moments, to look for those opportunities that will help equip and empower you to not only unmask your potential, but step forward powerfully and with great purpose in your life. Wonderful. Glad to have you back. And I wanted to introduce you a little bit more formally to one of our guests. We have two guests today. You got to hear them on a heart level, but I always think it's important to hear a little bit of their formal background before we go into that that deeper conversation. So I'm going to share just a couple highlights. You'll see their whole bio um, on our marketing pieces and on the website, the host page, but I want to highlight a few things. So Dr. Mary Ann Chase has a long history in the health and healing industry. She was a dentist for 20 years and retired and became a certified healing code practitioner. She is one of our very own radio show hosts, which we're excited to have. 
She's a radio show host and a television show host on Voice America. Her radio show call is called The Healing Whisper, A Return to Peace, and TV show is The Healing Whisper. So we'd love for you to, to tune in, especially as you learn more about Mary, Dr. Mary Ann and her passion for helping you heal. Her passion is not only to help you heal, but she wants to help you tap into the energy medicine that will help you heal in a powerful way and an easier way to really shine powerfully in your life. Please lean in and warmly welcome the amazing Dr. Mary Ann Chase to the show. Welcome. (laughs) Thank you, Rebecca. (laughs) (laughs) You are so welcome. Excited to have you joining us today. And I love to start with a question about why. Why is this work that you do around healing? You're you're so committed to this. You do this in radio. You do this in television in different modalities. Why is this work so personally important to you? Well, over the years, especially towards the end of my dental career, I began to realize that uh, we as a Western culture have been, shall we say, led to believe that the conventional ways of treating health issues is the only way of taking care of health issues. And There is so much more out there, and honestly, there is so much more that is essentially more effective than much of the conventional Western medicine that uh, we have been led to believe. Mm. Well, I love that as you observe this, not only is it something that you observed, but you've leaned into being a pioneer and being a leader and really helping people around this. So I celebrate you and the the commitment that you have to helping people in this way. Thank you. Well, thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. And I'd love just so we're all on the same page and kind of speaking the same language. Would you explain what energy medicine is? Well, actually, energy is everything. Everything we do, everything we see, everything we touch is all about energy. Einstein put that out there with his little formula E equals MC squared. And To be perfectly honest, the conventional Western medicine, even taking a pill for something, it is using the energy of that pill to do whatever that pill does. It's Mm -hmm. where we head into what is now being called energy medicine. It is utilizing the energy of your own body, of the universe, of of God, if you will, in your own way that we have been built to begin to heal whatever needs to be healed. Beautiful. Thank you for explaining that and kind of breaking it down because sometimes we use these terms and it means something else (laughs) to the person hearing. (laughs) So I appreciate you letting us understand what you mean when you say that and really helping shift our perspective a little bit on what energy is and how it works and is all around us. Now, the other term I wanted to dig into a little bit are the healing codes because you're a healing code practitioner. And I know this is a powerful part of what you do out in the world. So I'd love for you to explain what are the healing codes and why did you choose to become a practitioner in that and support people in that way? Well, the healing codes are a form of energy medicine. There are many, many forms of energy medicine, but the healing codes use your hands and fingertips to point around four different areas of the head and neck to move energy into those areas to begin healing down to the cellular level or if you will healing your heart and I'm Mm -hmm. talking about the I love you with all my heart heart not the beating heart although using the healing codes can heal that heart as well but 
things have to come first. And the main reason that I chose the healing code, when they found me, and I put it that way because I didn't go out searching for the healing codes. I was using other forms of energy medicine, and the healing codes found me. And when I started using them and finding out more about them, it was a knowing that this Mm. was what I needed to do. I love that. So it found you. And to me, it sounds like called you forth, pulled you forward. (laughs) Yes. We have found you. This, this is it. And I just want to understand a little bit so I can see what you're seeing. It sounds like you're able to help people um, move energy by placing their their fingers either on their head or around their head in certain areas, which will tap into those energy channels. Is that kind of how it works? Yes, it really is how it works. And anybody who would like to find out more about the Healing Codes, they can go to thehealingcodes.com. It's it's the website about the company, and you can find out a lot more about it. And Beautiful. you can go to my uh, voiceamerica.tv show to see how they are done. But just simply by placing pointing the fingers, not actually touching the skin, to the four different areas, which is the bridge, the temple, the jaw, and the Adam's apple, just in a very brief description of where those are. So, And it guides energy back into your body to actually negate the negative energy that's coming out of your body. Beautiful. No, thank you for for sharing because this is, I'm not as familiar. I I know a lot of different um, modalities out there, but that's a modality that's newer to me. So I appreciate you walking us through a little bit more of that visual (laughs) and letting us know (laughs) where we can tap into. And I like that because sometimes some of these things can sound scary or woo woo. And that sounds something like something that is doable and, and we can understand and work with. So I appreciate you Um, breaking that down and making that accessible for us. So thank you for sharing about the healing codes and how they work and why you chose that. And I'd love to have you share about your amazing gift because I know you prepared an amazing gift for us. (laughs) And I want to give you an opportunity to share about it with our listeners. I'll let them know how to find it, but I'd love for you to share the details with them. Well, actually, before I get into that detail, I want to very briefly describe why we use the healing codes is because we have certain beliefs about ourselves and about situations out there that are actually lies. So if you believe a lie about yourself that I am unlovable, that will affect everything physically about your body. So like if it's love that you believe you are unlovable, it affects your hormones. And so now I have my share here about what I do is coach people on using the healing codes, finding those negative beliefs about themselves. And I am offering a free coaching session. Wow. That's a very rich, rich offering. So thank you for making that available. So those of you who um, would like, were intrigued by what she shared and would like to tap in, learn more about that and get support from an expert of experts about it, I really encourage you to lean into this generous gift. Now, I'm going to let you know towards the end of the show how to lean into these gifts. Our amazing Kathleen, our second guest, also has a wonderful gift for you as well. But here's why we give you gifts. I believe it's really important that you have tools and resources to walk beside you and with you as you go back out into the world. So I want to make sure that when you resonate with our amazing experts, you have a way to connect with them further and tap into their wisdom and expertise beyond the show. So that's why we're giving you these amazing gifts. I encourage you to write that on your list to say yes to Dr. Mary Ann Chase's gift. And I will let you know how to access it in just a moment or towards the end 
end of the show. As we go into this commercial break, though, these two minutes, I want to remind you this is an opportunity for you to process tap in to your energy and where are you in that and is there something that you're perhaps telling yourself that isn't supportive of you that perhaps could shift kind of check in and see and we'll look forward to talking to you in just a moment voice america women your passion starts here Are you ready for your rush of success? I'm Jim T. Chong, the walk star. And I'm Cami Ferry, the theater queen, the host of Rush Hour for Success on Money 1055 on Thursdays and Fridays at 2 p.m. It's about getting entertained and getting solutions for your success in life and business. Visit us on Facebook at Money 105.5 FM Rush Hour for Success or download the Money 1055 app on your phone for the live stream. That's Thursdays and Fridays, 2 p.m. Pacific time. Get entertained, get educated, and get your rush on Rush, rush Hour for Success. Tune in to the Just Jan TV Show at JustJanTVShow.com. Visionary women's leader Jan Jorgensen is inspiring, practical, and visionary. Jan brings us everyday, transformational, emerging leaders, courageously changing the world by speaking and living their truth. Sit around the table with us for profound feminine wisdom, insights, and connection. Be sure to join us at JustJanTVShow.com. New episodes are every Tuesday at 11 a.m. Pacific Time at JustJanTVShow.com. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. With the great reveal, be ready to be inspired, awed, and motivated in your life by immersing yourself in psychology, neuroscience, mind-body interaction, and spiritual practices to elevate your journey to business and personal success. From ancient practices to scientifically-based cutting-edge techniques, guests will share strategies and methods to enlighten and empower you to design the life you desire and deserve. Visit thegreatreveal.com. Spread positive change. Voice America Women. Your passion starts here. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-613-1612. That's 1-866-613-1612. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed those two minutes. It's just such a gift. I find that every time... When I pause and I remember to breathe for two minutes and just listen and receive and be present, it can shift my perspective in a moment. And we've been talking a lot about perspective today. So I invite you to use the opportunities we're giving you to build those muscles. I hope you took the opportunity to process on a cellular level all that was shared with you and being poured and spoken into you. But let's take a moment to breathe, (sighs) open up space within us to receive additional information, connection, and wisdom. I'd love to welcome everyone back as I introduce our next amazing expert. This is Kathleen Zemensky, a dear friend of mine. We have been on the journey together for a while. She has um, been at our events and emceed at our events and just is a powerful leader. So I'm very excited to be sharing her with you today. She is a best-selling author of Come Out of Hiding and Shine. We're big on that shining part. She's a business feng shui master, has advanced degrees in Chinese metaphysics and classical feng shui, 
She's the developer of her auspicious, I love that word, auspicious date selection technology called the Time Blazer. It's a business management system. And she is one of our very own talk show hosts of Illuminating Feng Shui on our business channel. So we're really excited to have her joining us today. She is absolutely passionate about helping you optimize your success. So, you know, tap into that potential, optimize your success in business and life. Please lean in and warmly welcome the amazing Kathleen Zeminski. <laughs> Thank you, Rebecca. I always, I'm always waiting for that applause when you introduce me. It's always wonderful. I just feel so wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for allowing me to serve your your listeners. It's always wonderful to be around you and your friendship. So thanks for having me on today. Absolutely. Thrilled to have you here. And I'd love for you to share a little bit about why. Why this work about helping people with feng shui, particularly this business focus that you take, is personally so important to you because you're on the business channel. I mean, I think that you're very deliberate and strategic about how you're choosing to reach the world with your gifting and your skill and your knowledge in this. I'd love you to share a little bit about, because I know some of the why, but I would love our listeners to know too. Well, it's that's really actually a very good question because feng shui goes, you know, it dates back centuries, and and really when you you look at the true essence of classical feng shui, which I practice, which incorporates person, space, and time, which means the astrology of a person, what's going on in their life, what's happening in the space, which is feng shui, and then this very important piece of timing, doing the right thing at the right time. This goes back for centuries, and feng shui really originates in money and power, really. And so there's, you know, when it came to the United States, something happened with, you know, it's all about harmony and all of that, which there's nothing wrong with that. But the true essence is really about power and money. And how do we do that in in a holistic, balanced way? So th- the reason I chose business is really, it, 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 it's really something more of an educational piece for the Western mindset. But really, that's the roots of it is through through business. And so I feel when businesses are really looking at uh, using feng shui, they're taking care of their staff, their employees. And so it's a, it's the triple win, taking care of yourself and others. And then, you know, the end user. I, I love that because that also I can see if, if we do it in that order, we're actually able to touch the world. We're able to make a positive difference that has this ripple out effect. So I appreciate the the work that you do. The passion comes through so clearly as you share um, for why you do what you do and the passion to help others tap into this mindset to be able to tap into this um process and system and information and energy that can help them time and say the say the three things again time person space and time so it's person, astrology space, and time mm-hmm. feng shui and time yep er- all stacked together yep beautiful beautiful so thank you thank you for sharing and i'd love to just expand a little bit on that so what is business astrology how is that a little bit different than perhaps how we think of astrology and why use it well, for me, I think this is really one of the most important things to be looking at because a person needs to, you know, work and live in an environment, right? We, we are in a modern world where we, we have a container around us. So how well does that person fit? And the other thing that we look at from a business astrology perspective is the there are what we call four pillars. That's the year of birth, which is about your brand and it's your reputation as first impressions people have of you. The month of birth, that's what you're best suited at doing. Your day is about your partnerships and about you. And then your your hour of birth is about your income and your legacy, what you are going to be leaving this world with. Now, there's other interpretations from a personal perspective, but I really do focus on those four pillars. And then when a person has an awareness, if you will, of where they're at right now, and it's very easy because everything's based on the five elements in yin and yang theory. And it is very easy to see what's going to happen in the very near future or in distance future. And how do you plan for that? 
Beautiful. Thank you for sharing that. And listeners, I want you to just, because that was a lot of information, I want you just to pause for a moment and breathe and just think about if we knew all of those things about ourselves, if we had that awareness, how much more effectively and powerfully would we be able to play, quote unquote, in life, be in life and tap into our potential. If we knew how people saw us, if we knew what we were designed to do, if we knew those things about us, imagine how much more confidently we could step forward in certain areas and that we'd be able to play more towards those strengths versus perhaps not how we're seen. You know, that mirror again, being able to look up and see ourselves really and how we are received in the world so really really powerful powerful information now thank you for sharing how from the the business perspective how that works how those pieces come together and this isn't on the approved question so i i would love to ask an outside question if i could yeah go ahead Okay. I'd love, I just want our listeners to get a feel for this. Do you have a um, success story or a story that you can share with us? You don't need to name names or anything, but just giving us an example of how knowing something like that or just shifting something because of this awareness really um, helped somebody in a powerful way. Absolutely. So feng shui is also based on timing. Again, it's person, space, and time. So we're so for the astrology piece, um, you know, it, it, every year we have these energies come in. So we have this short-term energy that comes in, and I, I and I've done this for several clients, but this one in particular, um, I noted that I, I noticed that they were going to have a particularly unstable year that w- that it, he's actually going through uh, right now. So I was able to strategize with him. Him, like this is a year you want to play your cards a little bit closer to your chest. Otherwise, there's going to be some big upsets that you're probably not really wanting to go through because of you know the upsets. And so we were able to strategize, also using some good dates to to throw in here to you know speak to uh, you know his superiors and his subordinates. So he would he was able to go through some some of these transitions a little bit more less bumpy. Granted, there were still bumps along the way, but he knew going into it, he was not blindsided about what was happening. And there is the key to it, because things are going to happen in life. How can we either, you know, hold on to uh, knowing that having this awareness that this This potential is going to happen, good or bad. How do we either embrace and make it stronger or play back, play our cards a little bit closer to our chest, if you will, to maybe slow down the impact so it's not so brutal? Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. And that's something I've always appreciated about your work and how you approach this and support people. Like you let them know, hey, this is the time to go for it. What you've been preparing for. Here's the moment. Here's the time. Here's the day. Let's go do this. Or, you know, let's let's strategize around this so that we can position you to perhaps, like you said, play things a little bit closer to the chest, tap into tap, tap into certain energies at certain times to help them either mitigate or leverage opportunities so I appreciate that you meet people at a very real place and help them (laughs) and Mm -hmm. navigate through all the seasons all the changes that go along no matter what that year may bring really really powerful and I know that you have put together an amazing gift for our listeners and I would love for you to share about it Sure. Um, Well, I alluded to it a little bit when we were talking um, before is um, I'm going, I have this proprietary calendar that you spoke about called the Time Blazer Mm -hmm. Business Management System. And so uh, every month they will be receiving a month at a glance. And the the calendar is based on the five elements, yin and yang. And it's going to be a color coded calendar that just look for the green or the yellow dates that Mm -hmm. are on the month. And that means, ooh, good energy. So do positive things on that and then on the other days just hold back and then there'll be some other information along the way explaining it but in a nutshell use days that are vibrant doing the right action right time you will it will transform your life 
Beautiful. Thank you for making that available. And I actually have the calendar. <laughs> I, I don't know if you know this, but I can see it if I just turn around mm-hmm. <laughs> on my desk there. And I do. I look at the green days and, and um, I stay away from the yellow orange days. <laughs> I just kind of pay attention. And I have found that it's been really a powerful, powerful tool. So thank you for making that available to our listeners. Listeners, we are getting ready to go to our next commercial break. So remember those two minutes just for you. I invite you to process what has been shared. Give yourself a moment to pause and breathe. And when you come back, I'll be letting you know how to access both of these amazing gifts. And we'll look forward to talking to you in just a moment. This is Voice America Women. We are leaders in the forward movement of women's success. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life, make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. With the great reveal, be ready to be inspired, awed, and motivated in your life by immersing yourself in psychology, neuroscience, mind-body interaction, and spiritual practices to elevate your journey to business and personal success. From ancient practices to scientifically-based cutting-edge techniques, guests will share strategies and methods to enlighten and empower you to design the life you desire and deserve. Visit thegreatreveal.com. On. Spread positive change. Are you ready for your rush of success? I'm Jim Chi Chong, the walk star. And I'm Cami Ferry, the theater queen, the host of Rush Hour for Success on Money 1055 on Thursdays and Fridays at 2 p.m. It's about getting entertained and getting solutions for your success in life and business. Visit us on Facebook at Money 105.5 FM Rush Hour for Success or download the Money 1055 app on your phone for the live stream. That's Thursdays and Fridays, 2 p.m. Pacific time. Get entertained, get educated, and get your rush on Rush, rush Hour, Hour for Success. success. This is Voice America Women. We are leaders in the forward movement of women's success. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-613-1612. That's 1-866-613-1612. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed those two minutes. (laughs) That you enjoyed those two minutes throughout the show. And I want to let you know you can actually take that practice forward. You can take that out with you in the world and build in two-minute pauses. And what I have found when I need a pause the most is when I think I can least afford it. That day that I am rushing, it feels like I don't know who took over my life and the clock and everything's running behind and crazy. And then that one more thing that I can't have happen happens. That's the moment I actually need the pause. And if I can pause and take that breath and ask myself a couple questions, and I'm going to walk you through this. In that moment, I ask myself, Rebecca, are you being who you want to be right now in this moment? And stressed out, running, one more thing happening and and being angry or frustrated about is not how I want to be. So the answer will be at that moment, no. And I take a breath and say, okay, who do you want to be? How 
do you want to be? And I feel into that. And I discover what that is. Perhaps it's calm, relaxed, peace, whatever it may be, balanced. And then I tell myself, be that in your next breath. As you step forward, that next breath, become that, be that, claim that, you are that. And I have found in that one minute, sometimes two minutes, my whole perspective shifts. I'm able to make different choices. And all of that may still be swirling around me. But somehow I can see a clearer path. I can see a calmer road. And I can be more of who I want to be starting in that moment, not someday. And I want to invite you with the information we have shared with you. You have the opportunity to do these pauses to apply some of the things that we've shared. Awareness to some additional tools and resources that are out there to support you. And I want to let you know how you can tap into not only this pausing that we walked you through, but those free gifts that we mentioned that our wonderful and talented guests have elected to make available to you. They want to support you. So here's where you go. It's radio gifts with an S dot net. Radio gifts dot net. You'll find a net full of multiple gifts. You simply put in your name and your email address so we can stay in touch. You'll scroll down to today's date, which is October 24th. And you'll see the beautiful pictures of Dr. Mary Ann Chase and Kathleen Zemensky and their gifts. And you simply click on them. You put their name and your name and email address so they can get you the gift and information that they promised, the tools and resources. And then... You can open them. I invite you not just click and receive, but open. Remember, (laughs) you get to take some action in there and some choice. And while you're there, peruse the library. There are a lot of tools and resources from amazing guests and experts that want to give you not just information and content, but things that you can take with you that can walk beside you in life. I invite you to lean in, receive those gifts and resources, and then start to apply them to your life. One pause, one breath, one day at a time. So again, that is radiogifts.net, radiogifts with an S plural dot net. We'd love to have you um, link in and say yes to those amazing tools and resources. And as we are bringing our time together to a close, it's just been such a privilege to spend time with each of you who have leaned into connecting with us today. It's such an honor and a joy. And I asked my guest experts if they had one more piece, one more tip or advice or something on their heart that they could share with us. And they both leaned in and said, yes. So I've invited each of them in 30 seconds or less to give you a piece of advice tip or reminder so Kathleen what is on your heart the, the the thing that I would like to say is if you're listening to this program obviously you are looking to level up your life your business or personal life so the gifts that were offered today and the expertise that you gave Rebecca the really the time is now So don't wait to take action. So feng shui is an action oriented. It's not like things are just going to fall from the sky and happen. You also need to take some steps. So take that step. Beautiful. I love that. Take that step today. Now, this breath. Beautiful. (laughs) Thank you. And Dr. Marianne Chase, what's on your heart? Well, I'd just like to encourage everyone to know that everybody carries negative beliefs about themselves and about their life in their heart. And it is something that is extraordinarily difficult to find all by yourself. And I just want to encourage everyone to not do it by yourself. Take advantage of the coaching to help find what you need to find in order to heal. Beautiful. I love that. Thank you. It is not a solo journey. There are tools and resources and experts that can walk right beside you, cheer you on, and help you move forward effectively and efficiently, tapping into your potential, holding that mirror up in a way that perhaps you can't see, and they can help you see and navigate the path powerfully. I want to thank all of you for being here today, and I want to remind you, You are each 
beautifully and wonderfully made on purpose and for a purpose. In fact, I believe for such a time as now. And I want to encourage you to make the choice to take that action to choose to bloom where you're planted now, not someday, and shine. Have a beautiful week, everyone. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Thank you for joining us this week for Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Please tune in again for another edition with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider, next Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Women's Channel. And join us for a replay of the show every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, 2 p.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Empowerment Channel. Have a beautiful week, and may you always bloom where you're planted and shine.